What's up, Internet? Don here from DonDoes30.com, bringing you another hacking tutorial. And today what we're going to be talking about is customizing word lists. So if you've seen in some of my brute forcing videos or password cracking videos, you've noticed I use a word list to basically automate you typing in manual passwords to try to crack a password. Now the good thing is there are tons of word lists out there that, uh, you know, for instance, Rocky has like 14 million words in it, but the problem is, is they're not really customized to your specific target. So we're going to talk about a program called CUP, C-U-P-P, -P, and uh, we're going to get it uh, a customized word list for you just depending on your victim. So what you're going to do first, bring up a terminal. We're going to uh, type in git clone https github.com mebus cup.git and hit enter. Now I've already done this and what it does is it creates a directory called cup. So go ahead and get to that directory and see what's in it. And we've got a configuration file, a Python script, documentation, and a readme file. So I'm going to just cat the readme file and this gives you a little bit more information about the program itself. Now let's see what we've got here. Alright, so CUP stands for Common User Password Profiler. Now the th great thing about humans is they're pretty shitty at creating passwords. We typically use terms that we're familiar with, we use birth dates, we use addresses, we use numbers, something that we're going to easily remember. Of course, if you use something too easy, like most people do, then it's going to be easier to crack, depending on if you have the right word list. Now think about a password that you may have um, created in the past where it's probably pretty easy for someone to guess if they know you, so that's what this is all about. Now to run the script we're going to go to python cup.py and I'm going to make this just a little bit uh, bigger so we can see what we've got going on here. Alright, so it's going to give us our options. So this is the help file, or the help uh, flag. We've got the interactive mode, which is what we're going to be using. If you want to improve or add words to a dictionary that you already have, you could use the W argument. Uh, we've got the download huge word list from repositories. Again, if you want to try a huge word list that's really not targeted, that just has general passwords, you could always download a word list. And... Um, Got other two other options here. You got your A and you got your uh, version. Uh, so parse default username and passwords. I've never actually used this. So um, what we're gonna do again: Python cup.py, and we're gonna enter interactive mode. Now the first thing it's gonna ask is the first name of your victim. So I'm gonna use uh, let's say Bill. All right, his surname is gonna be his last name. We'll just say Williams. Uh, nickname, say his nickname is Billy, and birth date. Now, again, like I said, you'll have to know a little bit about your victim, hopefully. Uh, you could get their birth date maybe from Facebook or LinkedIn or Twitter or something. So I'm just going to make up a birth date. We'll say the 22nd of November 1980. Sounds good. And their partner's name. So this could be a boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife. Doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll say her name is Susan. Uh, partner's nickname. Let's say her nickname is Susie. Uh, birth date. Again, uh, we'll say the 4th of June, 1982. All right. Child's name. If they have a kid together. Um, we'll just make up a child's name here. Let's see, Bill and Susan. Uh, let's say their child's name is Cody. Uh, child's nickname, we'll just say the Codester. I don't know. Birth date, again, let's do the 3rd of December 2005. I don't know. Uh, pet's name, it even gets into different pets. So if they have a dog or cat or a snake or bird or whatever the fuck pets are, we'll just say the pet's name is Bruno. Uh, the company name could be the company that they work for. Um, say, I don't know, Walmart. 
You want to add some keywords about the victim. So this is good if you know even more about the victim than just the basic information. So by adding keywords, you could add things like uh, stuff that they like to do, like hobbies. Like let's say he likes to go fishing or he likes to play basketball or if he has a specific team like the New York Knicks, we could put New York Knicks as the team or if a specific football team, let's say the... Uh, I don't know, let's say Seahawks. Um, what else does Bill like to do? What the hell does he, uh, what's what's Bill into? Uh, who knows, you know, again, just uh, you could keep as much or put as much in here as you want. So he likes fishing, baseball, Knicks, Seahawks. Let's say he likes the movie Gladiator. Maybe that's his favorite movie. Uh, maybe favorite band is Metallica. Who knows? Just uh, have fun with it. You know, add as much uh, information as you can. That's going to help you out in the long run. Uh, do you want to add special characters at the end of words? Now, some sites require that you use special characters, like the um, um, ampersand symbol or the exclamation point. So you can add words, or you can add special characters. You might not want to if the site doesn't require it, or even better if the site does not allow it. Uh, I'm going to say yes, just so we have even more words and add some random numbers at the end of words. Why not? And leap mode. Now, this is important. So let's say Bill over here. Let's say you see his first or last name is Williams. Let's say he creates a password that replaces some of the... Uh, there we go. That replaces some of the vowels with, you know... Numbers. That's called, I guess, leet speak is what they call it. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on because a lot of people do that. And it's going to generate a word list. Now, if you look, for Bill, it generated a 42,072 word list. Now, that's not huge. It's not the 14 million, but this is more customized to your target Bill. So hopefully you're going to be a little bit more successful doing a customized Bill word list than you would be if you just used a general word list. So I'm just going to go ahead and cat this. We'll see what uh, what words it came up with. So as you see here, oh, that's a good one. Billy is backwards, so it's using his last name backwards. That's a pretty cool, uh, cool trick. Then we've got uh, Susie. It's using his uh, wife's nickname or girlfriend's nickname. Um, and again, I'm not going to go through all of these. So fishing, you can see the leet speak. Added some special characters. Cody, Codester, it's got his son in there. Uh, Bruno, his dog. Billy Bills. Uh, it's got the Williams, Walmart. So it's really taking all the information that you gave and hashing it out to make passwords. Cust a customized word list for you to further succeed in your brute force attempts. So hopefully for everybody that's asking me where to get word list from, or where I get my word lists or sites to download word list. Why even download a word list? If you know your target well enough, just go ahead and create a customized word list. All right. Thanks again for watching, guys. I'll be uh, coming out with some more tutorials uh, later on this week and next week. See you soon.